I'd come in the bedroom. She'd be naked laying on the bed. The movie that we were going to act out would be on the screen. The blood wiped from her arm. And she'd tell me, nobody does the things that you do to me. And I'd say, I'll be right back. And I would go to the, ba the bathroom. And I would try to get high. I would sit there and punch myself endless times in my fingers, in my neck, underneath my arm, even in my dick, to try to catch up with her. Because that was what we did. The stories of romance and addiction. And we just couldn't do it. I couldn't get high no more. I had ran out of veins. And I would throw myself on the ground throw fits and she would watch it and the anticipation of the joy of us doing what we love to do when we were high would just crumble right there in front of us and we'd end up spending the rest of the evening in a separate bedroom it was just plain fucking misery see everybody wants to be superman and the self confidence and whatever I was lacking was matched up when I punched that needle in my arm, it went away. And I was the hero of the day. But when I, that got taken away from me, I couldn't handle it. Superman didn't come from another planet. He came from a needle. And then he came out of the ashes. It would destroy a lot of our relationship. Even though we don't get along, I still love her. And it's still the fascination of me using her to this day. The sexual hangups and the stories of romance from I.V. Matthews. When you can't use no more, for three years I struggled with that and I got clean. God bless you. Fluid English.